How's it going? And hopefully you had a Merry Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate. It's Mr. Spirit here. And maybe you've been motivated to play better through other players, whether it be in game or through watching them off of YouTube. Or maybe you've seen them on a live stream. What is it that other players do that seem to get people to follow that leader quality? Is it their kills? Or maybe they're doing something a bit right that you can learn off of. For me, it was a little bit of, hey, uh, they're doing good. Maybe they're doing something right. And watch them and learn from them and I improved. And that's what I hope most of you have taken from my channel or others, is that playing it certain ways will improve your skill and get you to do better. But what if it comes to you being the motivator? How hard is it for you to become what gets people to move in, to work as a group, to do stuff? For me, it's simple. I'm a YouTuber. Most people will go, we've got the YouTuber, we've got the win, and they'll just outright go with it. But that's not the thing that always works. What if you're the nobody, the guy that no one really knows? Well, that's where things can become hard. Maybe the best thing that you could have done is something that you shouldn't have done. So... Maybe running in willy-nilly one by one is the worst option and you decide to stand outside and wait for people and then everyone starts grouping up around you. Well, then that's a good motivation is people are following that. Another is you grab someone else to work with and you go and you just destroy everything. So then people follow in. It's like, hey, they, they've got an obstacle out of our way that we're struggling with come in guys we'll deal with more of it and that's there's a whole lot of factors that could be to the motivation maybe you're on a good kill streak and you're keeping the enemies at bay and that just wants your team to move forward and that's all they keep doing is moving on up that's another good motivator but Maybe the prospect of being the winner is another one, too. A lot of people don't like to lose, and a lot of people do love to win. Now, you can't win all the games. That's impossible. There's no 100% win rate. Everyone has the chance to lose. That's the way statistics work. But, let's just say you want to win badly. You're on the losing side. Maybe it's time to pull out those ace cards and do what you do best, whether it be a heavy or medic or soldier, and then you work with whatever your team's giving you, and whatever it is, you deal with it, whether it's good or bad for you, you make sure that your team knows the best way to get around. So, why don't you guys try being the motivator sometime? Be that leader. Be that front man. The, the guys that get it done. Sure, you, you, you do need support. But if you are willing to lead, people will follow. As the saying goes, if you build it, they will come. So that same logic can be applied to games or anything else. Like... If you lead a club at school, you may have other people who want to join in. Or maybe the person who does lead it is moving on to the next grade or graduating and going to college next year. Or has finished college. Well, maybe you want to step up, take the lead, and do what it takes to make it so everyone can still enjoy that club. It's possible. You need to choose. Is it worth it? Is it not? Because there's a lot of things that you could say is never worth it. But then you could also say there's a lot of things that are worth it too. Because sometimes it's just those 
little details that you miss that you enjoy so much that you really, really want to get them going and keep them going because they were some of the best times of your life and there's nothing wrong with that. And if you kept it going, it'd feel good and you'd motivate the next person in line to step up and take the mantle of being, I'm the leader, this is how we're going to do it. This makes the things better. Sometimes it can be a voice too. Just that small thing. And all it requires you is to say a few words. Look at Martin Luther King. He was great. He was a great man. And all it took was a speech to start motivating people. And then it just kept piling on with all these activist rights. And eventually the blacks did get their equal rights to the whites. And now we're just people. But there's still some people that don't believe that they should be fully in charge or have any rights at all. And those people can go just f off like really a human's a human doesn't matter what the skin you're still a human but what we really want to decide is was it the th right thing he was a motivator and he was right it was something that needed to change and since it did change that's good and if you can maybe start that change, whether it be at your school, your community, online gaming, just that little thing can improve life so much if you can motivate others and become that leader. If you sit around in the dark waiting to find a light to guide you, you're going to be lost for a while. But if you become that light to guide others yourself you're going to make a big difference for a lot of people in life. So remember to motivate people, become that leader. But don't forget, there's always a need for followers too. With too many chiefs, there will never be enough Indians. <laughs> but with enough Indians, there'll always be at least a chief. So remember, you guys can motivate and become the leader yourself. Put yourself up to the task. I believe you can do it. I hope you guys had a very, very good holiday season. I know I did, and I'll be getting back to the normal schedule. I know this is a Monday, but I'm not home right now. I'm still at my family's place, and this has all been pre-recorded ahead of time. So I'd like to thank you guys again for watching and subscribing. And hopefully this new year will be even better than before. I'll see you guys next time.